welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video we're just going to ignore the elephant in the room and that is the fact that i have ordered myself a mcdonald's breakfast delivery this morning because we had a late night last night we went to the ivy in spinning fields in manchester which was lovely we had a lovely time but yeah <clears throat> a bit raspy today <laughs> But I have for you a Zara haul, although I do actually have a few other bits to share with you as well. I've got some bits from H&M, Mango, so it's kind of an accumulation. I'll show you the Zara bits first. I've also got some homeware bits as well. So buckle up, sit back, relax, get yourself a Mackie's on order, why not? And let's get into today's video. So before I share with you the Zara home bits, before then trying on all the clothing items, I do a very kindly have a sponsor for today's video. I am working with Farfetch, which is just a pinch me moment because it's dream come true working with Farfetch. I am a lover of their website, their brand, their whole shopping experience online. I really, really enjoy shopping the website of Farfetch. So if you haven't heard of Farfetch or don't know what it is, it is an online website that you can shop over 3,000 amazing brands from the huge heritage labels that we all know and love, all the way to the other end of the spectrum where we've got loads of amazing emerging designers and contemporary brands that allow you to shop some really unique finds and unique pieces that you maybe wouldn't find anywhere else. I've also got a discount code for you guys, which gets you 10% off if you want to take advantage. I will leave it on the screen. I'll also leave the code in the description box below so you've got access to it. Any point throughout this video, I'll also leave a link to Farfetch, links to the items that I have selected myself. The items came really quick for me, so fast shipping, easy returns if something doesn't fit. And they even have a section of pre-loved items as well, which we all know I love a good pre-loved purchase. So I actually picked up four items from Farfetch. The first two items are from a brand called Anine Bing, which I have loved the style of Anine Bing's sweatshirts and t-shirts in particular. They're kind of the washed vintage look, really great quality. And I finally picked myself up my very own Anine Bing t-shirt. So I was tempted for a sweatshirt. I thought as we're moving into spring, you'll see from the other items that I've picked up as well, I've kind of thought ahead so I decided to pick up this one. This is like one of their classic styles with the eagle on the front. I picked it up in a large, I do like an oversized fit. This is called the Lily Tea. My intention on wearing this is kind of a slouchy fit with either cycle shorts or something on walks in the summer, springtime, summertime, or tucked into some high-waisted jeans as well for a really relaxed, undone look. I also have one other thing from Anim Bing, and this is very much thinking ahead for summer months so this is a bag it's kind of like a designer but affordable because it is under the 200 pound mark for a designer bag which is amazing but it is a kind of like tote style bag so it's in this gorgeous kind of canvasy fabric to be the ideal beach bag shopper tote bag um just an amazing size this honestly is just such a good all-rounder so i had to pick it up like i said that bit of designer, <coughs> excuse me, that bit of designer at an affordable price. So there is um, one pair of shoes that I picked up and these are a pair of shoes. They're not a repurchase because I do have these but in a slightly different color already. Um, so it's not a repurchase because my other ones are absolutely fine. But it's a purchase in addition to my other Veja trainers because I wear them so much. So Veja, Veja, I don't know how to pronounce that, but Veja trainers are like a sneaker style, so comfy, and um, they do actually have a few different styles, but this is the style that I tend to love and wear. I have the nude kind of colour, which um, is also on Farfetch actually, so if you wanted to shop the nude version that I wear all the time, then you can find them on there as well. But I decided to pick up another pair, this time in the khaki, Green is another colour that I've been wearing a lot of lately. So yeah, I decided to uh, pick up the green version as well. It's got the little Veja gold on the side there and the standard kind of V shape. I just love Veja trainers. I am typically a six and a half, I size, well, six to six and a half. I get the European size at 40 in these, just for reference, and they fit absolutely fine. It says UK seven. If I would recommend getting anything from this little Farfetch haul, I would actually recommend these. 
love them they are reasonable again they're under the 200 pound mark for a designer item that is just incredible okay and then moving on to an item that i have had my eyes on for enough time to justify the purchase and i have also picked this up i think personally in the perfect time because as we're heading into spring summer this bag i feel is going to be well loved it's from chloe never owned an item from chloe before the only other design bags i've got are ysl and chanel so this is my first chloe purchase i have my eyes on the sandals as well that they have actually they've brought out a newer style the kind of lacier style but i do quite like the original kind of canvas style so eyes peeled for those on farfetch may even use my own discount code on those because um i do really really love them and i think as we're leading into the warmer months I think I'm going to wear them a lot. But anyway, this is the bag that I purchased. Ta-da! I went for the medium-sized tote. They have this in the black, which I opted for. They also have these leather parts in the brown. So I actually was very tempted for the brown, I'm not going to lie. I was torn between the two. I still would have loved the brown just as much as the black. I just feel like I wear black more. Having said that, I think brown is a great versatile piece for in the summer. I think it looks lovely with white dresses. So I do love the brown as well. Let me know which one you would have gone for, the brown or the black. I just, there's something that draws me to black all the more. So anyway, this is called the Woody Tote Bag. I said I got a medium, sorry, I got a large. They do have a medium available. I think they've got small as well. It's that beautiful kind of canvas material that would be ideal for what I would like to class as um, a summer's day where you're needing to take all the goods. So you need your book, you need maybe your laptop, your phone, your purse, doggy bags in my case as well, and maybe some dog treats. So it's just a good all rounder. It's not too oversized in that the Anine Bing one in comparison is very much a kind of beach bag. It's quite big in comparison. I have to sit all the way back to show you. Um, so this is honestly a bag that I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of. The other one I'm definitely gonna use more of the beach and the shopper tote. This. I love it love it love it love it so yeah i will leave links to all of these items down below along with that discount code to get 10 percent off designer pieces is just unheard of to get any discount so make sure to take advantage of that whilst it lasts and also let me know what your purchases are let me know if you go for those phasia trainers i promise you you won't regret it so thank you to farfetch for working with me on this part of today's video whilst i'm sat down i'm going to carry on sharing with you the homeware bits before standing up and trying on all the clothes so let's get into it zara home is potentially i'm gonna say it my favorite homeware brand <laughs> i just love everything they sell i feel like they have a really good selection it can get a bit steep on some items for the quality so i just pick and choose what i think are the best parts and yeah i've only got a few items this time round. first item is this what is it you may ask if i get into it i will share with you i absolutely love this this is I'm imagining set out in an office or downstairs once we've done the kind of bookshelf area in the dining room just sat out or even in the kitchen on an island it's a letter opener but it's like a solid metal really great quality and just looks super antique expensive like something you'd think you'd find just as a one-off piece i mean it looks like a weapon <laughs> It's a letter opener. Okay, next up, I'm already getting into it because I'm so excited. This is a hand and body wash in the scent Queer Nuit, which is translates to Leather Nights. Number two archive collection. I just love the um, style of these. They've got three different scents in this style and they also do candles as well. I'm not sure if they do rediffuses. I, I think they will do. But it has the kind of brushed brass effect and the glass bottle. We've got a lot of brass in our house, as you can tell from our light switches and plug sockets. So brass on display in my bathroom, I think it's gonna look lovely. I also have from Zara Home, the pet deodorizer spray thing. And I've seen that they've also brought out this, which again, part of the pet collection, this is actually a fabric spray though. So rather than spraying onto the dog, this is for all of the pet products, his bed, sofa, wherever he sleeps. 
and this is um, in the scent Absolute Linen, which they do quite a few products in, like candles and rediffuse in the Absolute Linen scents. You could kind of tie it in maybe and have the dog room, wherever the dog goes, have the Absolute Linen spray and diffusers and candles burning in that same room and it all smell lovely. The last of the Zara homeware items is this. It's a concrete tray. I wanted to purchase this to see if I liked the colour. I've got a couple of touches of a really kind of light warm grey running through our house. I know I'm not typically a grey lover. Um, I have this tray from Zara Home which they still have available in three different sizes and I love the quality of it, the finish of it, it's like a metal finish. So I thought I would try the concrete. It is a really light colour but from the website I just thought it was going to be that little bit warmer but it is actually a true kind of concrete colour. I think this is beautiful. I personally think this is going to be a bit too cool tone, a bit too grey for me to keep. I'm going to switch up the angle of this camera now, stand up and share with you some clothes. <sighs> Let me just have a sip of my coffee. I feel like I need this before I get up and show, share with you all the try on bits. Because honestly, trying on, it's like when you go shopping and you try on loads of clothes in the changing room, it's honestly a workout. Let's do this. All right, committed. We're keeping, we're keeping it. So I thought I would just show you the size of the bag. So this is the Chloe bag. If you were to just carry it like so, or obviously it fits over the shoulder beautifully. It's got the inside um, additional pocket here if you want to like pop your phone or purse in there. I honestly, I'm obsessed. I'm so glad I went for this one. Let me know what you think. I'll show you the Neen Bing one. Just as a comparative so you can see what I mean with it being a much larger shopper tote style, beach bag style bag as opposed to just a handbag. Let's try on the Neen Bing t-shirt. Okay, I'm glad I went for a large just because it's actually not as oversized as I thought it would be. It just feels so soft and so luxury. You can see why even a t-shirt can feel nice and designer. So yeah, this is the Anine Bing t-shirt. I love the relaxed fit on the arms. Okay, I've just ran downstairs to get my other Veja trainers. They're a little bit mucky. They are well loved, but I'll just show you anyway, so don't judge. I just want to show you the comparison of the colour. So I actually think the colour that I've already got is more wearable if you're going to go for one option over the other it's that lighter kind of nude is far more wearable however like i said i am wearing a lot of greens and i did want that kind of darker option so so happy about these okay first zara box as they tend to do is just a pair of shoes or a pair of boots really so these are like the green ones that everyone knows and loves however these were stupidly cheap they were and they had all the sizes available as well when i was shopping it so hopefully they still do i think they're about 15 pounds i mean reduced from 56 is a steal the lighter color i thought maybe for moving into spring and summer maybe like with a nice i mean not with leggings or because uh, they're a bit welly like <laughs> otherwise but maybe styled with a nice kind of spring dress Oh, I'm still undecided. I'm just looking in the mirror. This is where they come up to. You know, sometimes the Zara boots can be super chunky. These are far more understated. I love the kind of muted stone colour. Okay, second box for Zara. This is the last thing. I've got two more boxes for so H&M and a mango one. This is the last of the Zara items. First up, we have this jacket, which I thought was really nice. I loved the black versus like against the kind of cream color and it's a kind of bulk style fabric where it's quite cozy i feel like maybe cooler spring days or now would be when i would wear this as a layering jacket i'm really enjoying or I enjoy the fact that when we move out of winter which is basically just a nice outfit laid up with a massive coat because it's so cold i love that as we move into slightly warmer months or sunnier days you can layer up underneath so that you're plenty warm enough but you don't have to wear a big coat you can just wear something like this love the length of this as 
I am now with leggings. It's nice and long line, covers your bum. So um, yeah, I actually really like this one. I got it in a medium and this one was 23 pounds. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of stripes everywhere, especially into spring. So I spotted this jumper. It is a knit jumper that's weighty but it's not too thick and cozy so definitely one that can transition nicely i got it in a medium 29.99 this one is new stocks oh i just wish it was just that little bit longer although having said that with jeans it would be a lovely length i just don't think with leggings it maybe works or maybe if i wore my lululemon leggings that were this kind of color then it would but yeah this is what it looks like on it feels so soft Rest assured, it's not gonna be one of those jumpers that is super itchy. This feels lovely. I love this sleeve length as well. Let me know what you think. Stripes of vibe. I think so, I'm a fan. Right, moving on to, in fact, I'll try these on with this jumper. I picked up a pair of mom jeans and it's super hit and miss with these kind of jeans. They've got a bit of stretch to them. Hmm. I can be really funny with jeans because A, I don't like uncomfortable jeans and B, the fit of them can sometimes gape at the back for me, be too tight on the thighs. So these are in a size UK 12, 27.99. Love the color of these. They are a much darker wash to anything that I already own. Before I try these on, actually, I've just seen that I've got one more pair of boots. So I would class these as a chunkier fit. They are a similar color to the others, but a bit darker. I'll just show you side by side so you can see. Oh, I think I'm gonna prefer these to the big ones, as in the tall ones. I feel like because you can style these with leggings, yeah, I think I'm a fan. Maybe not with this colour because they kind of merge into one, but with black leggings, I love the kind of military sand deserty colour to these. Right, let's try on these jeans. I'm just procrastinating having to put on jeans, to be quite frankly. To be quite frank, not late. So they're a mom style, so they're a bit more of a relaxed fit, which I prefer because, like I said, if they're too tight and uncomfortable, I know I just won't wear them. And they're kind of straight at the bottom, which can be unflattering. I think if you style it right, it's fine. I feel like they actually work really nicely into spring with that Anine Bing t-shirt when it's a slightly warmer day. This um, jumper goes with it quite nicely as well, though the warm and kind of creamier tones. It fits around the waist. They're not, well, they are high-waisted, but they're not um, tight around the waist. So as I was saying, I do tend to have a bit of gaping on the back of my jeans. Um, but a simple belt on that I think would be would be fine. And I like the colour of them. I feel like they're more flattering than a white jean. I'm a fan. Right, that's everything I got from Zara actually. I did pick up quite a few jeans from Mango. So do we do H&M or Mango first? Let's go with Mango, I suppose. So here we have it. If you don't already know, Mango have an outlet website that I quite often have a look on. You can get some real steals. Myself and Tom were having a look um, the other night, but yeah, I went on to just Mango to see what was new in. We have a new Mango shop as well in Manchester. I say no, it's not that new anymore, but I'm still yet to go in. So yeah, I put in an online order. I will say the shipping took a while for Mango. I ordered quite a few pairs of jeans because it's so hard to see online whether they're gonna be stretchy, comfy. So I thought I'm just going to order a few that I like the look of, filter through them and see which ones I want to keep, if any. So this is called the Mom Style uh, Comfort, Mom Comfort Ankle High Waist. In a 38, I got these. Just quickly before I show you the jeans, I forgot to mention these are only $19.99. So again, bargain. These jeans are $16.99. I think they're one of the new styles, new moms they're called. And they fit really, really well. I love them styled up with just this Anine Bing t-shirt. This is Far more likely how I'm gonna wear this t-shirt is with jeans. I just feel like it just suits the look. I actually don't own any blue jeans ever, like at all, ever. I have had jeans in the past. But um, yeah, so I wanted to get my hands on a new pair. I just had a huge wardrobe purge at the start of lockdown. I thought I'm not wearing jeans ever and they're uncomfortable. So I just got rid of them all. I kept 
two pairs that are comfortable um, and they're both like light wash cream. So yeah, I feel like I'm in need of some new blue jeans and these ones might be the ones. However, I do have another pair to try on. These I think are called the Jeans Michelle and these ones are also $16.99. They're definitely more of a darker wash, but let's, let's try them on. Okay, these are what the Michelle jeans look like. I feel like they're not the most flattering fit for me because of the slouchy fit. It doesn't mean that they're comfier, but I feel like they're better suited to someone who's maybe a bit more of a sort of straight figure style. I'm quite curvy on the bottom, so I feel like it just doesn't do me any favours. So these ones will be going back. I do have a black pair that I was going to try on, but they're actually, the, well, I'll try on just to share it with you but they are the slouchy fit as well. So I think they're the same as these, but just in black. Oh no, they're the, called the Regina. I'm so not used to seeing myself in jeans because I've not worn them for, for that long. I'm having to like get used to it. It's strange. Um, again, the slouchy fit, it's this part around here, I think. The fact that it's like a darted, almost balloon style slightly. I just don't know if it's the most flattering for me and my body shape. I did buy these pair, again, the Committed Range Recycle Polyester in, are they 10? 12, sorry. But I don't know if I like the color of them. They're kind of like a suit pant. I'll try them on anyway. Well, this is an easy decision because they're just way too big on me. These ones are just falling down and then I, I really dislike the sat on the hip for me. I like things high-waisted. If they were just, if they were a 10, maybe they'd be all right. Um, just kind of cinched in at the waist a little bit more. I've got two more things to share with you from Mango. I might as well try them on together. I've got this pair of leather um, look legging trousers type things in a medium. They're a beautiful light olive kind of color. And then this, I love this. It's a Majestic Royal Tennis Club Sports, very sports vibe sweatshirt. And this color is beautiful. It's like a stone off-white. If these did fit, I quite like the style, you know, of a, a sweatshirt, like a very casual on top with a dressier bottom, like tailored work trousers, but with a sweatshirt on top. I quite like that. Anyway, let's try on the leggings. Okay, this sweatshirt was part of the new in. It's $29.99 in a medium. Did I get it in a medium? No, extra large. Sorry, I don't know where medium came from. Extra large, I got this in. Gosh, I'm glad I did. I do prefer an oversized fit with a, a sweatshirt. But yeah, extra large, $29.99. It's quite lightweight, so good for um, probably the springtime months. The leggings, again, similarly, I thought leading into spring, the lighter color, the kind of olivey toned with just a simple white shirt, maybe a relaxed linen shirt tucked in, or even just a basic white tee with maybe a blazer thrown over the top of my beige trainers. And these were 11 pounds. So moving on to H&M now. Oh my gosh, I have to show you this first. You guys know how much I love a good puzzle, little game. I've got some really nice looking games that I'm building up a bit of a collection of for when we do our dining room to kind of style up the bookshelf with. And I found this on H&M, H&M Home, and it's a jigsaw puzzle that is aesthetically pleasing. It comes in this box. Who knew you could get a nice looking jigsaw puzzle? So I think it's a, I mean, the design is on the inside. I'm gonna keep it sealed up for now. I feel like I might as well. So I picked that up because that's what kind of person I am. And then I also got, okay, I love this. This is like a cropped uh, jumper, good for with some of the jeans that I'm potentially keeping. Okay, here we go. I did actually pick up a pair of jeans from H&M as well. 20% recycled cotton in a UK 12, slim high waist black jeans. I feel like this sweatshirt looks quite nice with black jeans actually. What do you think? To show you this as well before I try on that jumper. This Nirvana t-shirt. Never listened to Nirvana in my life. I am that person that wears a band tee of a band that I don't even know or like. But hey ho, I like the look of it. So this kind of is along those similar sort of styles to the Anine Bing where it's a bit more of an oversized fit. This is actually much more oversized. Fit tee. And this one does actually have, it's got like that similar kind of charcoal distressed look, but it's got the 
big print on the back there of the Nirvana. It's like at all times, is it? Or dates or whatever. <sighs> Can I wear a Nirvana t-shirt if I don't listen to Nirvana? The Jigsaw was £11. These jeans were £17.99. This t-shirt's £12.99. And then this jumper that I'm going to try on, £17.99. Okay, yeah. Just coming a bit closer so you can see this jumper. It's got that beautiful kind of thick rib to it. I love a rib jumper. Um, I don't own anything like this in terms of the cropped version of it, but I do feel like if you're wearing it with jeans, it is quite nice just to have the cropped version so you've not got loads of the excess material. And yeah, I feel like I would style this with a blazer for that extra added layer of warmth at this time of the year. My Vasia trainers as well. And oh, let me get my Chloe bag. I feel like it works quite nicely actually, this bag with this outfit because of the colours that tie in quite nicely. So yeah, this is what these jeans look like. So comfy. These jeans are the best ones I've found yet of the bunch. They feel a bit more stretchy, which I feel like is the key to finding a good comfy jean. I did also pick up another basic. I have three of these. I've got them in white. I've got a beautiful kind of sage green color. They have so many colors available as well, by the way. I picked up this one, which I've not seen before. I think it might be new. And it's a kind of like camely beige color, which I think will be a good staple. So I got this in a medium. And these are only $5.99. So let me try it on just so you can see what it looks like on. So I love this kind of neckline. It's kind of like a racer front as opposed to racer back style. Really nice fit. Love this color as well. I think with these kind of shades, they can wash you out quite a lot, but this is a beautiful, beautiful tone. So I just tend to like either tuck these in or just wear them out and just have a good basic blazer over the top. Okay, so I've got two more items to share with you from H&M. I'm going to try them on at the same time. Got a pair of leggings which looked very much like my Lululemon dupes. However, on arrival, they feel completely different. So they still look nice and I'll try them on anyway, but they're just not a dupe for a Lululemon legging, unfortunately. I got the leggings in a medium and the top that I got, this is $29.99, this top. I think it's part of the new in range. I got it in a large, so it's a bit longer, but I quite like that washed look again, the kind of like acid, lighter toned wash look. I also love the fact that it has these cut out details for your thumb. So on those really cozy days at home or walks in the countryside when it's freezing, you can just have your sleeves cover your hands. So anyway, let's try these on together. Okay, let's start with the leggings. When I tell you that these are workout leggings, were a workout to get on, I'm not even kidding. They were so tight, but once they're on, they are quite, I mean, they call them shaping tights or something like that, whereby they're actually designed to be figure shaping, suck you in, and they do like hold you in, and once they're on, they're okay. That's where I'm saying they are not a dupe for the Align Pants from Lululemon, which I love because they really are so comfy that you feel like you've not got anything on, they're that comfortable. They're like a second skin, However, these are nice. I mean, they're nice and high-waisted, which I love. So for $24.99, I feel like I might send these ones back um, just because I feel like the effort to get them on, I feel like I'm never gonna reach for them. As for this sweatshirt, I'm obsessed. I love this detail here. It's like taking me back to my childhood where you used to like pull your sleeves down as much as possible, at least we did anyway. Um, and the fact they've got this little cozy, I don't know, it just makes it a little, cozy and cute so yeah i love the color of this as well absolute fan of this this is what i mean by i'm saying i'm wearing a bit more of a uh, khaki undertone so i feel like the new vasia trainers would complement this outfit perfectly so lululemon leggings my h&m top these vasia trainers i feel like i'm good to go just you know running my errands whilst in style. So this is everything that I have been picking up recently. I hope you've enjoyed this haul. I'll leave everything linked below in the description box. Don't forget to take advantage of that Farfetch discount code where you can get an amazing 10% off some designer pieces. Unheard of as well to get a discount like that. So thank you so much to them for very kindly giving me that discount code and working with me. I'm going to be using that code myself, that's for sure. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you have through your thumb 
cold jumper. Subscribe for more, don't forget to click that notification bell so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye guys!